How to do, dust your home. Dust not only looks unhealthy, it can be unhealthy just a pinch contains several thousand microscopic dust mites that can cause allergic reactions and trigger asthma attacks. Getting the itch to start dusting? Good. Instruction Step 1 Grab a footstool or step ladder so you can reach the highest surfaces in your home skylights, ceiling fans, chandeliers, cabinet tops, the tops of door and window frames, bookshelves, etc. Step 2 Dampen the microfiber cloth with the spray bottle, and gently rub it along all the surfaces in your home until the dust and dirt is removed. Quick tip, it's a good idea to dust from high to low that way, you can catch the dust you stir up as you move toward the floor. Step 3 Close any blinds and use your vacuum cleaner with a brush attachment to clean them from top to bottom, keeping smooth, even contact with the surface of the blinds. Step 4 Remove the cushions from your furniture, bring them outside, and gently clap them together a few times to loosen the dust. Step 5 Place the cushions on a clean surface and use the vacuum to remove any remaining dust. Quick tip, if it's a nice day, lay your cushions on a clean blanket and vacuum them outside. Step 6 Return the cushions to their places. Step 7 Before replacing the cushions, clean your bare furniture by vacuuming any upholstered parts and crevices and wiping any wooden surfaces with the damp cloth. Step 8 Run the damp cloth along any other wooden surfaces such as tables, bookcases, and chairs. Step 9 Spray any dusty plants with the spray bottle, on its mist setting, and carefully wipe them down with a clean, damp cloth. Then dry the plants with a clean, dry cloth. Step 10 Go over the surfaces of electronic devices gently with a microfiber cloth. Step 11 Use the vacuum with brush attachment to remove dust from any lampshades. Step 12 Sweep the floor with a broom and dustpan. Step 13 Go over your floor with a microfiber dust mop, or with a vacuum that has a floor or brush attachment. Congratulations! You can now breathe easy did you know? Dust mites aren't parasites they live off the one-fifth ounce of dead skin that we all shed every week.